in the 50s and 60s. What a great score that was by the man from Church Street. The ball is played out. There was a short kick out taken by Newcastle West. And Stephen Nix has it now. He gets past his man. He passed me hard, really. And he passes it out to John ba Sean Brown. Sean Brown plays it across then to Mike McMahon. Mike McMahon low along the ground. Ideal ball for a foul, but Garrett Noonan got to it very well. To Shawnee. Shawnee passes it in turn to Garrett. Garrett still has it. Got a good challenge, but stayed standing there. As Gary Egan plays it from his defensive. He's played the roving full forward. He played it out to Michal Brazen. Michal is dodging and ducking and diving outside. As he gets inside his man, but the pass went astray. And Michael Dowling is coming out, the captain. Playing a good game so far. Ian Carver's on it now. Another man that's having a great game. He's going past. He's just after racing through an awful lot of the drum behind. He's after getting a free for a totally, absolutely needless free. In my books. He's still at the ball. What's wrong with letting him play on? Free is about 30, 30 yards out, 35 yards out. Go. And it's kicked straight over the bar. Very well taken free by um, Thomas Quilligan. And the sides are level again, and three points apiece. Absolutely nothing between the sides as Shawnee Buckley comes off. Brian Noonan goes in. Shawnee carrying some in, uh, an injury. A m massive loss to John Bradford. There's, you can see it in him tonight. Stephen Nix comes through with that ball to James E. Kelly. James E. goes to turn his man, but he loses it. And it fortuitously lands in the arms of D. Of Mikey Bice, who very efficiently passes it down to Michal Brazen. Derry has it now. Derry has shown a clean pair of heels. He won. He still he uses this ball very well. He's great skill. Out to Ray Lynch, who's playing a roving, a roving role. He plays it out to Donnelly. Donnelly gets it into Michal. Michal has gone free. Michal is after shaking his man and he kicks. Oh. Into the side netting. To the left and wide. A great effort there by a great ball in by Patrick Donnelly to Michal. He really is able to win ball inside there when he's get, once he gets the supply. So you Stephen Kelly is, is going through with this ball. Stephen Solos and playing very well, but Owen oh, Barry came out to that ball and it spilled out of his hands. Jamie Lee passed it through. To Ian Carver and Ian Carver tips it over for the easiest of scores. A defence splitting move. As to say it started with Stephen Kelly. And he ended it Ian Carver kicking it over the bar. Castle West are combining very well. They're working the ball very quickly out of the fence and splitting the defence. The drum bar for the fence in turn. Um. As Jack kicks this ball out very well. And it's gathered, but it was deemed to be a push in the back. And Patrick Donnelly. The referee is spotting it every last small. Oh, that ball goes out to Jamie Lee and it kicked to Gary Owen. It ends up, he miss kicks it as it's punched by a Newcastle West player out over the line. You know, deemed to be punched by a John Bradford player. 
and it's out for a 45 giving Newcastle West a chance to go two points clear uh, Stephen Kelly is going to kick this one I think very scorable position Oh, he's going to try and kick this over, I think. He kicks it low trajectory, and it goes harmlessly wide. It's a let off for John Bradford. He's still only a point between the sides. It's four points to three. With roughly 28 minutes gone. I suppose the most that's left in this match is... Oh, it's actually, that's it. It's half time. Uh, I don't think he played any uh, any extra time, any injury time. And there's absolutely nothing between the sides, just as the original county final. There's absolutely nothing between these two sides. Um, a kick of a ball is all it will separate them in the finish. Maybe it'll end in another draw, but there's great football being played by both sides on a very chilly night, it must be said. They were definitely down 10 or 12 degrees from what we were the last day here in the Gaelic grounds. Right. Teams are on the field again for the second half. I, I don't know yet if there's any changes. We'll have to see as the game goes on if there's any change to either team. As far as I can see, the Drumbrafford team is the same as the as the f we were in the first half. Brian Noonan is after slotting in at left half back. Patrick Donnelly and Jason are centre field. Sean even off, of course. Picked up an injury during the week, apparently. What a big loss he is. The ball is thrown in. Newcastle West going forward with this. As Ian Corbett cutting through the drum bar for defence. Gives a pass out to Stephen Kelly. Solos on his left. Go out towards the wing. He passes it in to, to Michael Quilligan. Michael Quilligan still has it. He passes it back to Kelly again. And Kelly takes a a pass across the field he doesn't make any ground and Michal Brazen has it over there and Tigerishly comes out with it and soloing out the field he's looking up to find the man and he finds Ray Lynch playing very far out Ray turns his man shimmies and turns back again to Owen Barry Owen Barry having a lot better game today than he did the last day pass it out to Michal Brazen and the pass into Michal Reedy was intercepted there very well as Newcastle West come out with this ball. I think that's the captain, Michael Dowling. No, it's not. It's Thomas Quilligan. Thomas Quilligan playing very deep. It's Stephen Nix. Stephen Nix. And Stephen Nix kicks it to in Carver and back to Nix again. He's the biggest armor of a game. He kicks it forward and but the ball is intercepted as... Newcastle West haven't started their second half today as strongly as they did the last day. As Patrick Donnelly solo is out with this ball out of the fence and he's played it too on on Barry. Oh, it must be a double hop. It must be a double hop, Johnny. The ball is played very fast to Stephen Kelly. The free was taken quickly and Kelly has it now and he's going for his score. And it'll be a super score if it goes over. And it does. <laughs> Off the right hand, up right hand. Over the bar, by the narrowest of margins. That, that, that was a great score. From a very tight angle. Stephen Kelly has put Newcastle West two points ahead. It's five points to Newcastle West, three points to Drum Bradford. As Jack Noonan kicks this out. Newcastle West did this ball one again. And Thomas Quilligan. He's gone out over the line there and it's... Uh, He collided there, I think, with Jim Barry. And Jim is, Jim is fine again. 
Garrett Noonan gathers the resulting line ball and Tom McLaughlin's solo is through and a beautifully weighted pass straight into is it Terry McCarthy pass goes into Michal he went I think he just pass wasn't a great one and Newcastle West win that ball and win a free Drumbravra fighting though for this one and Derry McCarthy almost salvaged that ball but it's one back again it's two and fro as Patrick Donnelly gets this and passes it out of trouble to some extent there's two men on the ground oh Tom McLaughlin the, one of the surely the cleanest footballer if not in Limerick in the in the country I'm sure I said the other way he's surely fouled in this situation he's explaining his case to Mike Mead and to the uh, opposing Newcastle West player it's probably only going to be a throw up a throw, he's going to throw this ball in between the two of them I suppose and who is it only the famous James E. Kelly all over the huh? yeah he got great covers during the week between sports file and Facebook and Twitter and as Jason goes up for the throw in and he wins his free in Gareth is going taking his free in. he takes it he takes it out to, to D D plays it to Tom McLaughlin who's splitting the defence open it goes to Ray Lynch Ray Lynch passes into space and this ball is kicked by D oh just to the left and wide. They'll have to find someone further in, I think. Try and find a man inside in the forward line, but if you fair to look at the West, they have it well marshalled. It's two points between the sides. It's in a game like this, it's low scoring. It's enough. Kick out John Joshi takes it, not a great one. It gives a great chance to Derry McCarthy and Garrett wins this one. Derry got a touch in it and that looks like a high challenge but it's no free. Garrett has it now on the right wing, the left wing. He passes it into Jason. Jason's going to pull those through. He passes it to Ray. Ray gets a great pass in. Oh, the final pass. Went wrong, but it's deemed to be a foul. A foul on Gary Egan, I think. And from a very scoreable position, Michal hopefully kicked this. Sometimes the ones in front of goals are not the easiest ones to put over the bar. But I have a feeling he'll kick this one over. Where's the freaking bag of tatoes? No, that's the other one, is it? Is it? Another one there. Michal lining up for this free. He kicks it very well. It's gone straight between the posts. Fair play to him. It's a very well taken free from Michal Reedy. And there's only a point between the sides yet again. There's a short kick out taken there by John Joshihi. Out to his cornerback. That's Michael O'Keefe. Went down very quickly there. What? What was that? Michael Dowling. Stephen Nix is down. Is it? didn't look like a uh, much of a challenge to me I don't think he's maybe he's a facial injury of some kind he's up again anyway it's Sean Brown and he's going to take him to free himself they're moving well for these it's Michal Brazen 
battles there to, to get stop this ball coming out of Newcastle West defence. Oh, and it's another, even though it looked like a shoulder to me. The men still had the ball, a needless free. Got it very well there by into Ian Corbett. Ian Corbett, play, who's played a stormer, plays it out to Kelly. Stephen Kelly is on the wing now with this ball. Don't let him cut across anyway. So they go out to Markham and he plays it in low. Oh, a very dangerous ball there. But Jack dealt with it very well. And he passed it out. James is challenging for this. The ball, D got rid of it, or Kenny and got rid of it very well. Garrett Noonan has it now. They've worked it very well out of the fence. Tom McLaughlin now passes it through to Jason. From Bradford, making a lot of moves to get the ball out here. Jason comes out with that ball. It's played out to D and a pass. Oh, very lucky that that pass didn't go straight. Derry comes through with it and passes it to Dano. Dano kicks. Oh, nearly. Michal is slides free. Oh, and he's brought down and a great. Michal really has the beating of this defence all night long. If he keeps getting ball, he's causing endless problems for that Newcastle West defence. He has between, he has won a lot of frees and he has taken his own frees and put them over and he scored from play. Almost scored a goal. They'll his experience is really showing here tonight. He's there to hold off his man and make a bit of space. And I'm sure Newcastle West must be wondering, must be hoping that he'll see less and less ball all night because this man has the ability to win this game on his own. As Patrick Donnelly, the captain, who and he always takes these with his left. And throws it over and the sides are level are five points apiece Jim Bradford trying to find a bit of momentum very hard thing They're very hard to get into get going you're down a player like Shani Buckley it doesn't make it any easier the, the, the Newcastle West kickouts are very poor in the second half it's working to Drum Bradford's advantage as Jason gathers this into, into Ray and Ray plays it out to Garrett Noonan who's linking up very well all night Jason solos and passes to Ray Lynch that pass uh, these long hand passes will get into fierce trouble with him but Ray gets it from, from Gary he combines it uh, Combines with Gary again. Gary gets this through. Oh, but he took a bit of a Gary took a bit of a pot shot at that, and he never he was never comfortable kicking that ball. He should have probably dummied his man and made a small bit of space. But he's playing very well in general. He's linking up very very well, and his uh, John Joshi seems to have given up sending out long kickouts. He's not getting the same results as he did the last day from his kickouts. Jerome Barford set up in the middle of the field has improved a lot from the last day. Newcastle West have a lot of moves made, but and this ball still hasn't left their defence. Ian Carver plays it across to Stephen Nix, and Stephen Nix plays it out. Oh, almost intercepted. Jamie Lee plays it in, and there's a free. The free is played across to Mike McMahon. Mike McMahon plays it to Ian Carver. Ian Carver is going through with it now. It's got gone straight down the middle oh, and right into Owen Barry who's getting oh, no, it's not Owen Barry it's Gary it's Mikey Boyce Mikey Boyce who brought that ball all the way out of the fence a man of steel Dano has this ball Dano's covering every inch of this field tonight he's playing a captain's role there's no doubt it goes across the defence, almost spills out, but it's gathered again by, Ga by Gary Egan. Oh, that pass. Very lucky that it found Jason Stokes. Ball is kicked quickly through, and Newcastle West anticipate that. Michael O'Keefe played it very well. Their captain in Dowling has it now. Michael Dowling, he plays it across. I'm wrong with that. I'm mixing the Thomas, or, uh, Thomas Quilligan up with the cornerback all night. That ball has gone through to the, to Michael Quilligan, his brother. 
Michael holds off a two jump off for defenders very well and makes a bit of space but he gets he goes and looks for Stephen Kelly for this and it's going off Stephen the outside of Stephen Kelly's boot to the left and wide and it would have been an inspirational score as the umpire gathers the ball Jack is kicking a different ball get the feeling that John Braffer are getting to grips of this this match at long last and finding a bit of a rhythm but it's swinging and ebbs and flows there's nothing between these two sides as Jason gathers that ball playing a lot better game tonight on an awful lot more ball and using it better as Owen Barry misses loses that ball coming out of the fence the Badger has it now he has possessed oh and it's a free in I can't figure out that free is far. I'm going to take a better man than me to figure it out. Johnny, what was that for? Oh, huh? I'm Stephen. Yeah. Oh, Stephen Kelly that was fouled there as he kicked that ball and it's a free of course from where the ball lands. Thomas Quilligan is going kicking this. <laughs> huh? Yeah, it's Thomas Cody again, yeah. He should throw this over. And he does. Right over the black spot, that one goes. And Nukasa was to bring on a sub. Shea Lines, who hadn't been that prominent in the play, is being replaced by Shane Kelly. Mm. Well, I think he's getting married tomorrow, so I'm trying to give him a break as well. Shea Lines, that is. As that ball is coming through Drum Bradford. Yes, is that really interesting on that ball? No, it's not. It is. He dummies and passes it in. And Garrett Noonan. Garrett passes it through out, out into space. Working their way. Drum Bradford working their way in for a score. As it's kicked. And it's that It plays into space. Oh! And it's gathered on the line by the Newcastle West goalkeeper. It was thought it was going over the bar. By Michael Downing works it out. And Newcastle West work it out, out of their defence. That was a big let off for them. It could have been a goal even there, I think. But no score at all. A bad result for John Bradford. Jamie Lee goes through with this. He's, been, he's kicked that one waywardly to the right and wide. And I think um, Newcastle West have a few, much the same type of uh, wides as uh, John Bradford had in the second half, or almost in the very same stage, at the same stage in the game as well. And those wides can, could tell a lot at the final whistle. Hopefully, John Bradford will. Uh, it's a let off for John Bradford. I hope they can um, drive on and throw a few over as that ball comes in to Stephen Nix who was totally unmarked in the middle of the field he passes it out to Jamie Lee no it doesn't to Thomas Quilligan as Kelly going through Stephen Kelly to Jamesy and Jamesy's gone through like a train and it's gathered by Jack Noonan he got up in it slightly but he still got his kick in and Drumbaffer tried to work this out of the fence as Michal Brazen helping out his defence there. Coming out with the ball and what in the name of God is after happening here? Tis the Badger is down again. He spends most of his time on the ground. Like any like like any badger, I suppose. 
he's giving out to the referee now and the officials and most of the Newcastle West team and the Drum Buffer team as well. No, no free, as I thought. James, he definitely he should be nominated for an Oscar. He'd be unlucky not to win one, I'd say. As Michal Brosnan passes that ball out. And Killian Fahey in his debut year playing senior football is really playing a stormer tonight. And he wins a free going in. What an inspirational free. A great move. He's grown into this game. Every minute he has become has got stronger and stronger. His father played football down in Ballyvourney in the college back in the I suppose back in the eighties. He's always been very prominent with between soccer teams and GA teams and basketball teams in the parish in the meantime. Mike Mike Fahey that is. Mihal Reedy squares up now is lining up to take this. Fancy him to throw it over and it's a beauty! What an outstanding score! And Amanda steps up to the plate every time. It's level, they're level again. Six points apiece. A lot a lower scoring match than the previous one. But as good a match, as good we have just as good a football match as John Joshi, he kicks this one out. It's kind of hanging and Jason gets a touch to it. Derry's on it now. Can Derry make inroads into the Newcastle West defence? He passes it through to Garrett. Garrett passes it out. Oh, it's lost, but it's, it fractures his lands with, with Dano. Dano bounces it and the Newcastle West man takes advantage and gets it away from him. But it's gathered by Jason. Jason plays it forward to Garrett. Can Garrett kick this over for John Barford to go into the lead? No. To the left and wide. Didn't kick it with any great conviction. <laughs> 20 minutes gone now in the second half. It's all to play for. It's six points apiece. It's a cliffhanger if there ever was one. Doesn't look like he needed two sides and score a goal, but whoever does score is going to win this. The, Jumbra or the uh, Newcastle West goalkeeper, John Joshi, he's receiving attention up there. I don't know what happened to him, but uh, 